Breaking update, fiber still good for you. Two new studies just dropped on dietary fiber and the risk of mortality and chronic disease. One study was looking at postmenopausal women and they found that women who consume in the highest tertile of fiber intake had a 15% lower risk of mortality or death compared to women in the lowest tertile of intake. For women who consumed less than eight grams of fiber per day, which is pretty low, every five gram increase in fiber decrease the risk of mortality by 7%. Now there was a threshold effect and in most studies you find around 20 to 25 grams of fiber per day gets you the vast majority of the benefits, but you still do get increased benefits going above that it's just that they become diminishing returns. In the other study, they looked at about a million men and a million women and the risk of chronic disease and found, once again, people consuming more fiber had lower risk of chronic disease. Men in particular had a lower risk of cancer, cardiovascular disease, and as I've talked about many times on this channel, regardless of the population, regardless of the age, people who consume more dietary fiber live longer and are healthier overall. The data on dietary fiber was actually stronger for men in the chronic disease study than it was for women. They found that the threshold for dietary fiber improving health and decreasing the risk of chronic disease was lower for women than it was for men. It's hard to know exactly why that is. Uh, if I had to hazard a guess, one, women are just smaller overall, so they can probably get the benefits at an absolutely lower amount of fiber intake, but it probably scales proportional to either their calorie intake or their body weight. Additionally, women have a lower risk overall of cardiovascular disease, which is a major contributor for the risk of mortality. So estrogen in particular is something that is cardioprotective and in general men tend to have a higher risk of cardiovascular disease which dietary fiber lowers the risk of cardiovascular disease and that is probably through a couple different mechanisms. Uh, dietary fiber can improve metabolic health and that's likely through its effects on the gut microbiome where the bacteria in your gut microbiome can ferment this dietary fiber to short chain fatty acids and those short chain fatty acids appear to have benefits for metabolic health. Furthermore, Dietary fiber can reduce LDL cholesterol and ApoB, and those are causative risk factors for cardiovascular disease. So overall, like I've been saying on this channel for God, I don't know how long, fiber is good for you. It will help you live longer, be healthier, and reduce your risk of chronic disease. So eat your protein, eat your fiber, and don't eat too many calories.